Hello everyone, welcome to another video by RoboCoach Technologies. Today I'm excited to present our user interface for GPT Synthesizer. For today's demo, we're going to be creating a calculator. So uh, first you need to input your API key. So I'm going to do that. And then you have the option of specifying the model that you would like to use. For today I'm going to use the GPT 3.5. And just for informative reasons, uh, we are displaying the contents of the workspace at the moment. So as we progress through the project, um, you can see as files are um, created inside of the workspace and the working directory for the workspace. So first we're going to specify our task, implement a calculator with a GUI. All right, then we specify the language we want. So we're going to select Python. All right, so now it's determined the required components. There's a GUI, there's an input parser, there's a calculator logic, um, output formatter, and event handler. So is there anything we want to add? Uh, we're going to say none. And then are there anything that we would like to remove? Well, some of the things we'd like to remove for simplicity reasons. So we want to remove the event handler. So event handler. We also want to remove the output formatter. So output formatter. And we also want to remove the input parser. Okay, so now we have the calculator logic and we have the GUI. So let's provide more details about the specific features and functionalities for the GUI. Um, GUI should display user face that mimics a Calculator. There should be buttons for numbers. Mm. Operations clear and enter. Um, more information about the layout. The layout should be grid-like. Can you provide more details about the size and the arrangement of the buttons in the grid? Uh, use your best judgment. The functionality of each button. depends on the button if it is a number then 
it represents the number in the operation. If it is a operation, then that is the operation we need to perform on the numbers. Can you provide more details about the specific operations? There should be addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. The enter button. tells the calculator to perform the operation and the clear button clears current user inputs. Is there anything else you would like to specify about the GUI? Uh, no. All right, so now um, it will implement the GUI. All right, so now it's finished implementing the GUI, and now it's going to try to get more intuition about the calculator logic. So can you provide more details about the specific operations the calculator should be able to perform? The operations we wish to perform are addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication. Um, it should be able to handle both decimal and integers. Should it be able to handle negative numbers? Yes. Should the calculator be able to handle larger numbers or should there be a limit on the size it can handle? There is no limit. Um, it should handle both. Um, it should only work with real numbers. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Is there anything else we would like to add? Nope.
Okay, so it says it will start working on it. So we're just going to press space and then enter. And now it should implement the um, logic of the calculator. All right, it looks like now it has also implemented the main, so that completes the workspace. Uh, now let's go try running the code and see what our calculator looks like. All right, so now we see the calculator we've implemented. So now let's test some of the operations. So let's see, what is two plus three? Oh, oh that looks like five. And let's try nine divided by three. Excellent. What is one times eight? Also correct. And finally, what is 4 minus 9? Negative 5. All right, thank you very much for watching this demo. Uh, we hope you enjoyed GPT Synthesizer and stay tuned for more. Thank you. Bye.